Hello guys, this is Shweb Yakub. In this video, we are going to discuss two very important terms. One is bond equivalent yield, BEY, and effective annual yield that is ENY. So, BEY is bond equivalent basis or bond equivalent yield that is calculated on a semi-annual basis. So if you calculate the yield of the bond on semi-annual basis that is bond equivalent yield. Remember majority of the bonds in US are calculated on six monthly on semi-annual basis that's why it is called bond equivalent yield. So as majority of the bonds are trading on six monthly basis so that's why a convention has been built a name has been built bond equivalent so that's why its name is bond equivalent yield next is effective annual yield and that is calculated on an annual basis so let's learn that how to calculate this so for example there are two bonds number one number two this is compounded on an annual basis. This is compounded on a semi-annual basis. Face value is 100. Coupon is 8%. For example, present value or the market value is 95. N is 4. So we need to calculate the YTM. YTM of the bond, effective annual yield, and bond equivalent yield. This is semi-annual. For example, its face value is 100. Coupon is, for example, 9%. PV is, for example, 90. N is, for example, 10. So let's calculate its YTM, effective annual yield, and bond equivalent G. So let's start with this. So first of all, play work the time value function. FV is 100. FV is 100. Coupon is 8% of the part, that is 8. Market value is 95. So present value is 95. N is 4. So compute the IY that is equal to 9.56. So 9.56 is the YTM. Remember, this is a nominal yield. And when the compounding basis is annual, your effective annual rate will be same 9.56 percent. Remember, you can you can calculate this through I conversion function. So let me take the exit from this function by pressing second and quit and enter second and I conversion. Let me clear it, second and clear work. Nominal rate is 9.56. Why it is a nominal rate? Whenever rate is given, whenever there is a there is any calculated rate, that is nominal rate, 9.56. And compounding once in a year, Effective annual rate will be nominal rate will be 9.56. So 9.56. Effective annual rate will be the same. So how to calculate the bond equivalent yield? Now change the compounding in a year to 2 because bond equivalent yield will be calculated on a semi-annual basis. Enter, keep the effective annual rate same, compute the nominal rate that will be equal to 9.34. So this is the bond equivalent yield. Bond equivalent yield is the YTM calculated on a semi-annual basis. So what you will do, you will calculate the annual yield of the bond. That will be the nominal rate and that will also be the effective rate. Then change the compounding to 2. In a I conversion function and calculate the nominal yield again 
that will be your bond equivalent sheet okay now next if there is a semi annual basis so let, let, let me clear future value will be the 100 as coupon is 9% but it is a semi annual basis so take its half value that is 4.5 4.5 is the PMT market value is negative 90 and is 10 so it will be 20 so let's compute the I by that is 5.32 so 5.32 into 2 into 2 10.65 approximately 10.65 is the YTM that is the nominal G 10.65 remember this 10.65 has been calculated on a semi-annual basis so bond equivalent yield will be same why is it it is same because bond equivalent yield is also calculated on a semi-annual basis but now you need to calculate the effective annual yield we will put this into the nominal yield in I conversion function and calculate the effective annual so let me clear it this is 10.65 enter now let me calculate the effective annual yield two times in a year this is 10.93 so it will be 10 point nine three percent so that's how you will calculate the effective annual yield the simple YTM and the bond equivalent yield. Okay, one last thing, guys. This bond equivalent yield is different from the one which we have covered previously in corporate finance, quants, and even in this chapter. That bond equivalent yield was calculated in money market instrument, and this bond equivalent yield has been calculated in bonds. So that's why it is different from those. Thank you so much.